Welcome. I'm going to be reacting to Stingray, Season 1, Episode 2. It is all Captain Black's fault because we got that episode that was basically a submarine episode and I was just watching it going, I want to see Stingray. Anyway, I am hyped. I loved the pilot episode. I know there's probably going to be a lot of romance subplots, which we don't often get on Jerry Anderson shows, so I'm kind of interested in seeing what's going to happen there. Are we going to get Undersea Bridgerton? Selected clips are provided for commentary purposes. This is not a market substitute. Please support the original. And no spoilers in the comments, or I'll send you to Aquatraz! Dun dun dun! Ah! That sounds like bad guy music. But it doesn't look like they're tech. Marineville tracking station calling. Missile approaching. Impact 30 seconds. But it would be cooler if the missile looked like a little fish. I want that area searched. Yes, sir. Ah, there she is. Is she joining the crew? That makes sense. Because she can just go out underwater. Oh, come on, give her a seat up front. Don't make her sit all the way back there. <gasps> Look at the tiny little trees. Finally. Get her a chair. Oh. Can you see anything, Trot? No phones. This island's deserted. That missile couldn't have Can we go ahead. ashore and look? It looks a little bit like Mako Island. Okay, that's it then. Tower from Stingray, areas 20 and 21 negative, proceeding to area 22. Uh-oh. They did not look very thoroughly. It is literally going off right behind them. Come on, we'll dive and take a look around beneath the water. Send her out! Okay, I just want to see her swimming. I'll admit that. Oh, this set! It does look like Mako! That's uh, from H2O. Just add water for anyone not in the know. Marina, you just sit tight. They have hover bikes? I'm sorry, excuse me? This is just too cool. Troy, what's that? I think it's something you should get away from. But I don't like it. My arm. It must be a paralyzing ray of some kind. Oh dear. I can't move a muscle. All we require is some information. You'll get nothing out of me. No sir, me neither. Oh, no! Release her. Do you hear me? Release her. Marina will be quite safe until a thousand marine boats are reached. Then she will die. If we tell him, Commander Shaw, Atlanta, all of Marineville will be wiped out. But it's Marina. That's got to start hurting. Troy! Only 200 marine boats to go. Okay, shut it off. Mm. I'll talk. Well, Tempest. Hmm. All right, how do we get the key? Give me one of your buttons. A butt? Marina, start ripping that cushion cover into strips, will you? Oh, I see where he's going with this. Has to catch just right, though. Missed. Uh... Now, this time, it's... Gotta work. Oh, you were so close that time. Nearly there. They need to just reprogram it again. Uh oh. Ah! Rocket, Rocket disposal, disposal squad, squad will get, get to work on that missile, missile immediately. immediately. In fact, the warhead had uh, been disarmed before it hit Marineville. How's that, Lieutenant? I think this note will explain, sir. Now, we gotta save him, if it isn't too late. 
I don't know why, but I had canon Lauren Bacall as Atlanta in a live action version of this. Marina would be Elizabeth Taylor. So I guess that makes Troy Robert Taylor. They will destroy us. Release the prisoners, Lucella. <laughs> we have been released. Undersea base has been abandoned. We have a couple of prisoners on board. Mm. Roger, Stingray. Oh, there goes the beautiful base. R.I.P. Oh, wow. Just one thing wrong, Phones. Oh, uh, what's that, sir? You're improperly dressed. I won't have my men looking slovenly while on duty. Your button man, it's oh. missing. <laughs> well, don't that beat off. <laughs> this show is just so much fun. Ah, oh. so many adorable shots of Stingray. What a cool story. Hidden island base, explosions, rockets. <sighs> My only quibble. Why is Marina way in the back in the couch area? Like, can we get her somewhere to be up front? Unless she wants this. Maybe she's just like, all right, guys, you play up front with your little submarine toy. I'm going to be in the back with my book and my snacks. Call me if anything happens. I mean, I know she can't talk, but like, that's what she would say if she could. So I'm going to go with that as my headcanon that Marina was the one going, uh, I want my own lounge. The model work here is just so good. I do prefer the Captain Skrull and the Mr. Ron's size head puppets, but the models here, ah, just makes my heart sing. <laughs>